going to be drafting off shoulder blouse an off shoulder blouse we'll be needing some measurements we're needing the bust the bust the waist the bust point the under bust half length and full length half length is a, is the same thing as the waist of the person if you're joining them for the first time please like subscribe and always press the notification bell to get all our videos once we upload thank you let's get started so what do we need we're going to start by getting our shoulder the shoulder measurement i'm dealing with here is 16 inches and i'm going to divide it by two to give you eight inches so i'm going to be measuring my shoulder here okay then i've done some markings yes i'm going to as you go along with me you understand it now we're going to be having an, our armhole length we're going to be having our armhole that we're dealing with is a uh, 17 so we're going to be dividing it by two and then we're going to be adding one inch we're going to be adding a half inch for the shoulder slant so here we have our nine then we'll have our half inch here it out so let me roll it out so here's our shoulder our shoulder length our arm holding sorry now the first we need to get now we have gotten our arm hole which is nine the next vertical line here is the the boss point the boss point here is ten and a half then under bust here is 14 and a half. I'm going to rule them all out. Then our half length here is 17. Then the full length here is 25. So let me rule out all my vertical lines. I have my... This is the armhole. The horizontal, I will rule them out horizontal. Then this is my bust point. This is my under bust. Under bust. Here is the half length, which is the waistline. And here is the full length of the top, the blouse I'm making. So I've gotten them for half our armhole length here. As the second face of our armhole, divide by two. Then we'll have our armhole, bust point, I say bust point, under bust point, under bust, then the half length, then the full length, half length, then full length. Okay. So first of all, we'll have to insert our bust to bust, nipple to nipple measurement. The nipple to nipple measurement I'm using here is 8. 8 divided by 2 will give you 4 inches. So I'm going to be marking 4 inches all around. But I'll be adding half inch allowance. Okay. So I'm going to be marking this is my 4 and a half inch. 4 and a half inch all the way down. So I rule it out. So this is our nipple to nipple measurement. Now I'm going to measure from my bust point to my under bust. What do I have? From my bust point to my under bust, I have four inches. So because I'm I'm going to be cutting off shoulder bust here blouse, I would like the up to cover. So I'm going to take the same measurement here and take it up above the bust point. I measure the same four and a half inches here. I've measured it here, but I'm going to be adding half inside to cover the the bust point the bust area so i doesn't leave it open so i'm making here four and a half so what i have here is four and a half under the bust point to, to from bust point to under bust point is four inches from bust point to above the cleavages i'm having four and a half after marking i'm going to be inserting my darts now 
so i'm coming towards the center front i'll be marking one inch then towards the out i'm uh, i'm whole side i'm going to be adding one and a half so one inch here this side then one and a half here so i'll now roll it out after marking it to roll it out and i roll out the one and a half inch making the total that i'm using to be two inches so now coming to this place i'm going to be connecting from my under bus to my bus point to give some room some allowance by the bus point i'll be coming down from the bus point by half inch so it's not be very sharp to now join it like this and just join it in a curvy form and join it in a curvy form like this then join it like this again If you can see, I've joined my boss point to my under boss. Then coming to this end, I'm going to transfer the same data allowance I used at the under boss to this space. I know you understand what I'm saying. Above the boss point now, I'm going to be inserting the same dart. So I'm, I'm adding the one inch towards the center front and one and a half at the outer part of it. So I'll be joining them too. Still remember from the bus point, I still have to, have to go up by half inch to give more room for the bus to sit in well. You can see what we have here. It's clear. You can see what we have here. Now I have to insert my measurement before I start covering out the neckline. So the bus I'm working with today is 44. I'm sorry, 42. So I'll divide my 42 by 4 and then be adding one and a half inch sewing allowance. One and a half inch sewing allowance. Then I'll come towards my waist, the under boss. So I've measured the, the under boss and the waist is the same measurement. It's, the difference is no more than half inch. So I prefer to use my waist measurement for both. So I insert my waist measurement, divide by four. Then I will add this that allowance to it. That is two inches. That's my two inches. And I still have my one and a half inch sewing allowance to it. Because after cutting all this that we need it to fit in well. So same measurement comes to the waistline, the half length too. And I come to my hip now. The hip is divide by four. 48 divided by 4. Don't forget to add these 2 inches with minus as a dark allowance. Then say add 1.5 inch sewing allowance. So we now connect, connect our drawings, our points together. This is what we we'll have now. Look very well and see how it looks. So now I want to curve, I want a sweetheart neck for my neckline. I call it a neckline because we are starting is a off shoulder, so we'll not be using the main neckline. So you see the neckline still. So I'll be giving a little curve from this edge down towards the center front i want it to be sweet not sweetheart neckline okay then here now i have to join my gonna connect this that to the armhole you have something like this and see now i'm gonna cut it off i'll show you how it looks So we are done cutting off and have a look at it how beautiful it looks with our sweet hat neck. And look at it. These are the sides. 
This is the center, this is the other side. So we're needing to join them together. But before then, remember to cut this in a fold. You can decide to bring it down the neck, neckline a little bit down again. I can decide to go further. I could decide to add like three inches down. Depends on how the person wants, likes his, uh, his boss to show. Can decide to go by one and a half. Okay, I'll go by one and a half. What I need to do is to fold it in again, then connect it back. All depends on who is wearing it and what the person wants. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, press the notification bell to always get all our videos once we upload them. Thank you very much. This is Tama Stitches. We love you and we'll always be here to see how we can help each other in this COVID-19 period.